Hi, Gary here with Automatic Door and Hardware. Uh, what I'd like to talk about today are 10 things that you can check on a handicap automatic door if it's not operating. Uh, the first thing to check would be to see if the position switch is on. Uh, automatic doors generally have a power switch which may be an illuminated switch or it may just be an on-off switch. Uh, you might even have an on-off hold open switch. And it could be that that is just off. And it's just, uh, you'd be surprised at the amount of people that, especially young kids that might come through and jump up and flip that switch off. And it may be as simple as uh, turning the switch back on. <clears throat> if your automatic door still doesn't operate, then uh, another tip would be to Go back to the circuit breaker that should be labeled on which circuit that door is on and make sure that that is not tripped or off for some reason. Uh, if that's on, then another uh, item to check would be to operate each push button and see if it opens the door. Uh, if you notice that maybe the interior button works but the exterior doesn't, then it may be as simple as pulling apart that exterior push plate and checking to see if the battery is good in it. Oftentimes uh, they either use a nine volt battery or AA batteries in them, or even uh, uh, a coin cell battery. And it could be that that's bad, or it may even be the push button. Uh, oftentimes push buttons can get abused and they get bent and then they don't operate because they're not sending the signal to the transmitter inside of the uh, box. Uh, one of the other tips would be uh, if you do have a low battery to go ahead and replace it with a new one and see if that takes care of the problem. Uh, another thing to look for would be, especially on exterior push buttons, would be to see if uh, the push button is not a weatherproof push button and maybe the transmitter has weather damage, water damage where it's corroded and not working anymore. In that case, you'd, you'd wanna make sure that you get a weatherproof push button uh, or a stanchion that's weatherproof where all the electronics can be protected from the rain and snow and bad weather. Uh, if everything that you've checked so far it doesn't seem to do anything and your push button has a proper battery in it and the power is on and your circuit breaker is on and still doesn't operate, uh, then another thing to do would be to go back to the circuit breaker if you don't have a, a power switch on the door and turn it off and wait for approximately two minutes and then turn the power back on and then see if that operates because oftentimes uh, some of these handicapped doors need a electronic reset to get them to work. Uh, another tip would be if your door runs sporadically and doesn't close it could be that you have a broken spring or somebody has removed the arm on the door opener and put it back on in the incorrect position. And generally in most automatic doors, not all are the same, but uh, most of them, if you put the door on a hold open, let the spindle of the operator wind up and then attach the door arm when the door is in the 90 degree open position and then tighten it down, that should take care of that problem. And as always, you may have to run a power reset on it because a lot of these new door, automatic door openers have computers in them which need to be rebooted anytime anything's changed on them. Uh, another tip would be to check for any kind of mechanical obstructions. Sometimes on automatic doors, especially if they have panic hardware that's electrified, the electrified panic hardware can hang up and the door won't open because it's trying to open against the panic hardware that didn't re release. Or you could even have an electric strike that's not releasing. Uh, in that case, then <clears throat> those other issues would have to be addressed. 
in any case, uh, automatic doors should be inspected at least twice a year <clears throat> by an inspector that's familiar with automatic doors and is certified uh, in the field of automatic doors. Hope these tips can help you out and that'll be it for today. Thank you.